Hi, I'm Mark McPherson and welcome to another one of my videos in the series of videos where I look at the 11 essential, fundamental and core nonverbal and visual communication skills. In this video, I'm looking at one skill like I have in all the other videos, one skill. But this particular skill is sort of split into two. There's sort of two parts, two sub skills if you like, but you'll see how they really go together. So there's two particular skills, sub skills, and they go together. The first one is all about timelines. The second one is all about graphs, but they sort of go together and you'll soon see how that happens. Let's talk timelines. When we talk about timelines, we don't have to do anything. I can just talk about them, simple as that. But sometimes we might have a graph behind us and the timeline tends to go uh, old, present, new. It tends to go in that direction. The increasing time tends to go in that direction. In our culture anyway, the Western culture which I operate in, it may well be different in other cultures. We can talk about that another time. But basically speaking, timeline behind me would go in that direction. I want you to notice something. That if I am going to do the visuals of the past, the present and the future, I'm doing it like I'm from your perspective. I'm doing it like I'm you looking at, at me. I'm sort of doing it back the front, so to speak. The old, present, new, that direction. I'm pretending I'm you to make sure that my uh, non-verbals, my visual communication matches the way it would if I was a timeline be behind me or a timeline you might be imagining. Now let's get on the graphs. Graphs tend to have a vertical axis and a horizontal axis. Now, when it comes to you know, below the line, the line and above, negative, zero, positive, no particular changes there. But just like with a timeline, negative, zero, positive. Things go in that direction. So if I'm talking about a graph going up, I'm talking about it going in that direction. I'm pretending I'm in your position, your perspective. That's where I'm looking at this from. So I sort of do it once again, a little bit back the front. Doesn't take long to get used to it, I can assure you. As I said, you don't have to do it at all. You can talk about how the graph goes up. And there might be a graph behind you or whatever. You can talk about how the graph goes up. But if you're going to use non-verbals and visuals, make sure it's consistent. Make sure it matches the way you would imagine it or actually see it. The graph goes up. Negative, positive, negative, posit positive. That's pretty important because it can be confusing to somebody if you start talking about the graph going up in that direction. I've got to pretend I'm in your perspective, your position looking at. I hope that makes it clear. Let's leave it there. That's probably enough. If you want to talk more about how to do timelines and graphs, please look, just give me a call. It's easy. Go to the contact page of my website, for example. Plenty of ways of getting in contact with me there. Whatever you're doing, wherever you are, look after yourselves, look after your family and friends, and hope to chat to you soon. All the very best. See you later.